friends. I was planning on making a studio vlog this week, but I just completely ran out of time. So instead, we are gonna be doing something else, which is a dollar store art challenge. Yes, so basically I'm just gonna go to the dollar store and see if there are enough art supplies that I can do a painting using only art supplies that I get at the dollar store. So I'm not gonna cheat and use my own brushes either or like stuff that I already have, like paper. Like, no. We are only gonna use stuff that the dollar store that's by my house currently has. <laughs> so hopefully they're not totally sold out of everything because <laughs> That'll make making this video a lot harder. So I'm here at the dollar store now. It, I, I, depending on how busy it is in there, I may have to use my phone camera because it's not as noticeable. <laughs> I can't really tell from the outside how busy it's gonna be, so we'll see. <laughs> extremely busy in there I barely got any video just because of how many people there were there and like every single person was walking through the art supplies aisle too which I mean I whatever whatever the point is I now have my stuff in the car so I'm gonna go home and test them out and we'll see if we can actually make a painting with all this stuff I mean I feel like maybe maybe <laughs> we'll see Okay, so I am back and I have all of my art supplies. I have um, some stuff. I tried to get as much stuff as I thought I would need because I really didn't want to cheat and use stuff I already have. Because just because I have so many art supplies to begin with. So it feels like it would only be fair if I only use these art supplies that I got from the dollar store. And right off the bat, I'm realizing that I forgot to get pencils. Well, you can use the paint as a pencil, it'll be fine. Anyway, I was able to get some washable paint. I got these tempura watercolors. I, I don't really know what that is. Uh, I got three sets of brushes, which I think covers all the bases, all the different sizes of brushes that I'm gonna need. I got this really cool, actually, that I like a lot, and I'm probably gonna use it after this. This really cool little paint palette that looks like you know the emoji of like a paint palette? It's in that, that shape of like an artist palette. I got one of those, it's plastic. It, it seems like it's gonna be really nice. I also got a uh, brush cleaning pot, which I don't have. I currently literally just use an old Starbucks cup that I have had for like three years. I don't have an actual brush cleaning pot. You can get real ones from like Blick that have like these spirally thingies for oil paints. But I've just been using a Starbucks cup. And I got a few extra supplies that I don't normally use, but they look cute and I wanted to try them out, which is these pastel crayons and pencils, and I got some oil pastels. I have used regular pastels before, like chalk pastels, but it's been a really long time since I've used oil pastels. I think I have like a really old one from like literally 10 years ago that I haven't touched since then. But I wanted to try again because I feel like a lot of people are using them right now, so you better try and these weird tempura watercolors. I don't know what a tempura watercolor is. There's tempura paint, which is like washable children's paint, and then there's watercolors. What's a tempura watercolor? I don't know, we're gonna find out. And I got <laughs> a couple different sizes of canvases. I got two stretched canvases and two um, canvas boards which I really like using better than canvases, but you know, we try and do things today. And I couldn't find any paper. I wanted to get some crayons and do like a multimedia, like paint slash pastel and also like colored pencils 
drawing that had like a bunch of different textures in it and like coolness but I couldn't find any art paper like none it was all it, the only paper that I could find was like notebook paper like lined notebook paper and construction paper and construction paper was not gonna cut it so I'll do that another time maybe maybe next week or a couple weeks from now they were actually a bit more cleaned out than what I was hoping for because I could tell that they had spots on the shelf that were empty that they had thrown out of stuff so I kind of had to get like a mix of different types of paints because I didn't have all the colors that I needed in one type of paint so we're gonna mix acrylic paint with kids washable paint hopefully it's fine I don't know what kids washable paint I don't know if it's acrylic or something else but we'll find out if it mixes <laughs> If it doesn't, then I guess the experiment kind of failed, but we still had fun doing it. Also got some coffee from Wawa on the way home. It's very essential to like everyday life. I mean, it's not from the dollar store, but whatever. We're just gonna, we're not gonna, we're not gonna address that. And of course I got one other thing. I got some honey buns. I used to love these when I was a kid, like love them. I would eat like whole boxes of them alone by myself. I still could, but I won't. This time, I'm only gonna have sparing amounts of honey buns, but I'm really excited because I haven't had them forever. They're like off-brand honey buns, but it's a honey bun. Like, it's probably fine, right? Yeah. And yeah, I think that's all I got. So it's time to get started trying out this stuff. We'll see if it's actually usable. We'll see if I didn't forget anything. So let's get started. <laughs> Mmm, delicious. This is smaller than a normal honey bun, but it tastes good, so.
so it is the next day and I have three new paintings I'm surprised at how well they came out like they came out good most of them technically I have four paintings but I did not finish the fourth one because we'll, we'll talk about that as we conclude this video <laughs> So for the most part, the acrylic paints that the dollar store had, they're fine. They're just, they're just acrylic paints. They, they are fine. Um, the washable paints, eh, they're, they're for kids, you know, they're, they're children's paint. And they're um, not very pigmented and they're also not very opaque. It doesn't actually say what kind of paint it is. It just says washable paint on the outside of the bottle so I still don't know if it's like tempura paint or some other type of paint or what like I don't know what basically the point is if you're an artist maybe stay away from the washable paints but the acrylic paints are just fine um, they also have actually a lot of other types of paints that I didn't go for because I didn't think I would use them but they have like metallic paints and sparkly paints and puppy paints but those are like three-dimensional paints and things so you have a lot of options and going off of how well the regular acrylics worked I mean sure probably a lot of the other paints are just fine as well the brushes are okay um, I'll actually probably keep using them I don't know how long they'll last, but I, I probably will keep using them for acrylic or anything else like that. The only brushes that I would say are not that great are the really, really tiny brush and the fluffy brushes. Now, the fluffy brushes, the problem is, is that the bristles fall out. So if you've ever used like a cheap, you know, basing brushes that you can like, they're not the silicone ones, the ones that have like bristles. Have you ever used them and like the bristles fall out into your food and it's really gross? Well, these brushes are like that, except they're tiny and they're paint brushes. So I was trying to use one of them to like wet the page because I was like, oh, it's a fluffy brush. It'll hold more water, but it did not. It did, like, as soon as I started brushing it, the, the hairs just came out of the brush and it was just, it was bad. Um, what else? The canvases are fine. You know, they're canvases. The only critique that I have of the canvases is that they're very rough. I mean, they, they function, it's just that if you like like really fine lines, like I use a lot of very fine details in my work, and with a canvas like this, it's hard to get that to show up because the brush is gonna catch on all those little divots and grooves and like every single little thing that it catches on is gonna be another opportunity for your work to get messy. But you can always just resurface them. I mean, they were literally a dollar and you can get can you can get gesso pretty cheap at places like Michael's. But I am actually really happy. Like I said when I first started talking about this, I'm I'm actually really happy because they came out a lot better than I thought they would. <laughs> the washable paints are just not very strong. Like if you're going to mix the washable and acrylic, you have to use way more washable than acrylic and just I would just go when you can get only the acrylic basically because the washable it's just nah, I don't know. Unless it's for kids, then it doesn't matter. The palette is really nice. The brush cleaner is fine. You know, it's serviceable. Nothing really standing out about that. I did try out the Tempura watercolor and I don't think that's, I, I don't think I'd recommend them. I'll, I'll have to try them in the future and, let, and update you guys on it, but I, I couldn't even get it to like adhere to the canvas. So I don't know what's up with them. I just gave up on those. But besides that, if you want to do really brightly colored paintings and like if you're into like really illustrative stuff that you are okay with a more limited color selection and you like really bright colors, then you probably would be fine getting paints at the dollar store. But you can't really do darks. So the one painting that I ended up scrapping and just being like this is not gonna work and I didn't finish it, it was a night sky painting and it just didn't like the colors didn't look right and it didn't mix right and I used to struggle with this a lot when I first started painting so I, I would stick with the lighter colors because that did not work <laughs> that's the only thing that did not absolutely did not work at all the night sky painting turned out weird so we're just gonna we're just gonna let that one go and that's fine three out of four ain't bad <laughs> anyway I hope you liked the video. I hope it was fun for you to watch. It was fun for me to make. I really like trying new art supplies. I have a lot of other art supplies that I'm I'm wanting to try in the future. So I'll probably make some more videos similar to this as time goes on. But most likely I'll be back to studio vlogs soon. I just ran out of time this week, so it wasn't gonna happen. But next week. And with that, I am gonna go. 
I will see you next time and yeah, that's it. Bye! Bye! Bye!